right, so I bought a laser cutter, mostly because it's a freaking laser and that's pretty cool. I ended up going with the Atom Stack A5 Pro as noted by uh, the top rail there. Here's a few pieces I have um, been testing out. Clearly this is offset. I've got my zeros wrong on this. I'm gonna give another try here in a minute. Um, but dialing in some other pieces and here is a tiny, tiny head gasket modeled after the Nissan K24 uh, out of a 240SX. It came out really, really good. Um, I'm not sure the GoPro is really capturing how how good that is. A little burned on the back side. Air assist would be nice to actually reduce that, but um, yeah, I didn't opt for that. I could always upgrade in the future, so that's a possibility. Another head gasket, I was trying to dial these in. Uh, maybe make some keychains out of these. I thought it'd be pretty cool. A little Nismo inspired keychain here. Nothing special. Uh, little tank turbo. Pops right on out. Kind of cool. And then uh, also got this weird Dorito chip thing. Um, so it's been pretty good so far. Like I didn't think it actually end up cutting this. Um, so some of these come with the kit as like a sample piece. And it's like basswood. About an eighth inch thick. Um, and then I, I, this is like last cut I test and this is a quarter inch uh, poplar and it made its way through in three cuts. Um, and I think it, I'm actually really, really impressed I was able to do that, but I haven't yet tried the included black acrylic, uh, but it should be pretty easy work knowing I made it through a quarter inch there. So setup and assembly was super straightforward. It went together really easy, especially if you've built a 3D printer or something like that in the past. Uh, again, I'm not familiar with laser cutters, laser engravers, but it's very similar. Uh, CNC operations are very similar to like what a 3D printer does. Um, very, very similar to a CNC router as well. So you have a few different options for the software side of things. Uh, I opted for the free one, which is laser DRBL, laser gerbil. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but I'm pretty sure that's close enough. Uh, you could also go with Lightburn, which is probably the better option, but it costs sixty dollars for the license. So um, yeah, this is good enough for now. I got a bunch of files here ready to roll. All you do is take a typically a high contrast black and white image like this, um, and just drag it in, and then you can start messing around with uh, what you're trying to cut. Um, there's some like brightness and contrast levels up here on the top left. You can adjust and it'll change um, what's being picked up. You pretty much just adjust your sizes and you're pretty much good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create, it'll bring it in here, and then it's giving you a example of what it's gonna look like cut out. So uh, I'm gonna get it set up and I'm gonna try this brake rotor again. Um, hopefully I can get it lined up straight. All right, once you got the whole image mocked up, you can actually go down here and frame it, which basically, draws a laser around without burning anything to kind of give you an example of where that piece is going to be so you can make sure your whole material is within the cut area and everything looks pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and hit send and it's going to be a, a couple minute process to cut this whole circle Once we get that ring cut out, I'm going to go ahead and ready up the inner areas that are going to get engraved. Hardwood engraved, ply, same size. Should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit frame again. Make sure it's in the same ballpark and hopefully it's the same area. It looks pretty good. So we can go ahead and, oh, that is off maybe. Maybe right, or might be right. Fingers crossed, I'm just gonna hope for the best here. is done. I'm going to go ahead and move the cutter out of the way. 
And let's take a look. See how like wet it is maybe? I don't know if that's just the smoke or something burning out of there or if it's moisture. It looks pretty cool like that actually though. So in the moment of truth, did it cut all the way through? Oh no, I don't think it did. Oh, so close yet so far. Either way, I got the, I got it centered up that time, which is nice. You can just see some daylight through there. So, so close. I might have to up the settings, maybe do another pass. I bet you I can knock it through if I pushed, but uh, obviously it's gonna be a little bit tear out. Not gonna be super, super pretty. Um, but I haven't burned through my table yet. That's a good sign. All right, that's gonna be pretty much a wrap for today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably cut a few of these, uh, see how this acrylic comes out. But for the most part, I'm really happy with this. I picked this up for $195. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys wanna grab one too. But uh, I'm really, really happy so far. I mean, it's $195 I'm, I'm cutting that high level of precision and uh, accuracy and I can make some pretty cool stuff. So hopefully there'll be more projects in the near future using my new laser cutter engraver. I don't know what yet, but uh, stay tuned.